Poor people waste money on these fifteen things. These are fifteen ways poor people waste money today. Welcome to Cash Street, where cash is always king. Here are fifteen things that hold poor people back in life because they waste money on them. Number one, credit cards. Poor people should avoid using credit cards because doing so is like digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole from which you will never emerge. Credit cards are used to exchange short-term financial assistance for time spent earning a living. When you get into debt, you stop working for yourself and your life isn't really yours until the debt is paid off. Poor people typically use their credit cards for non-essential purchases as if it were a monthly hobby. You'll never be able to get out of this financial whirlwind, and it's easy to get caught up in it. Number 2. Glam and Beauty Have you seen the nails and haircuts of people whose cars can't even be fixed? This is one of the most irritating factors that prevent people from progressing. You've worked hard all week, and now you want to impress people who aren't doing any better than you by giving yourself a new hairstyle that won't last for two weeks. Have you ever noticed that almost everyone who is wealthy has the same basic haircut, or that none of the successful female entrepreneurs have diamonds or add-ons on their nails? Fixing your life is the most important thing. After that, you'll have enough money to do whatever you want. Start working on your windows instead of throwing money away. Number 3. Impulsive Purchases You're well aware that the things in your life that are absolutely necessary are the essentials. They're brainwashing you into thinking that you need said product when in fact you only want it. Once you understand the difference between need and want, you will begin to take control of your life. Everything else is just being marketed to you. According to a study conducted in the United Kingdom, the typical British person will spend more than £150,000 on impulsive purchases over the course of their lifetime. In contrast, the typical American person spends more than $5,000 per year. Number 4 is food waste. You probably don't know how much food you throw away because people buy what they think they will eat, which is usually not the case. The majority of people discard 40% of their purchased vegetables, 17% of their dairy products, and 14% of their meat. Food waste costs the typical American household approximately $20,000 annually. No matter how wealthy or poor you are, it seems like about the same amount of food goes to waste. It's just the poor are suffering significantly more. Number 5. Bizarre Fitness Products, Miracle Diets, and Teleshopping You've been following this trend for 20 years. Do you think you can safely lose 50% of your weight in 3 weeks using a miracle tea that some hot 20-something advertise on Instagram or in television? Personal trainers are the super ripped individuals in those videos, and their job is to exercise 14 hours a day, every day. They earn their living doing that. You don't need pajama pants, shake weight, or roll up piano. How often do you have to fall for shoddy products that are made to con people who want quick and easy solutions? Taking responsibility for the fact that you're out of shape and need to change is the only way to get in shape. You are going to reduce the amount of food you eat and occasionally walk or run. You only need to do that and there is no cost to you. You do not require a product, rather you must improve your mindset. Number 6. Spiritual or Lucky Charms isn't it funny how people who don't have much money spend it on lucky charms or stones that are supposed to make their lives richer? Do you know what would make you 49 bucks richer? Not buying rocks. Number 7. Health Here's a deal with health. It's a living, ever-expanding that gets bigger the more you ignore it, causing more harm to your life. You don't want to get a cavity fix at the dentist because you won't be able to afford an implant for years. You don't want to pay for a checkup because you'll need to be hospitalized if you want to live. The less fortunate believe that the problem will go away if they just ignore it, which is not good for anyone. Number 8. Games and In-App Purchases 70% of weekly gamers spend money on games. In Fortnite alone, these individuals spend an average of $84.6 on digital goods. Candy Crush was generating revenue for $3 million per day from players purchasing additional lives or other items. 
Despite the staggering numbers, the most significant benefit of this insignificant form of entertainment is the enormous amount of time wasted rather than the money spent. It's simple to see how many hours you put into a game by looking at your stream numbers. Reaching 1,000 hours of gameplay in a year is simple if you consider yourself a gamer. Despite the fact that those are perhaps inexperienced numbers, gamers typically earn more than $20 per hour without considering the cost of purchasing the game. Number 9. The Latest Technology It's weird to see people you know who don't have much money to spend every year on the latest technology. There is a difference between having the money to buy the new iPhone and not being able to afford it. Similarly to this, if your home clearly needs maintenance, you don't need a large flat-screen TV. It also comes down to a product's life cycle. People who take good care of their belongings enjoy using them for longer periods of time, which helps them save money on upfront costs for replacing them or paying for maintenance. Number 10. Balling at the Club it feels good to drink champagne while people are staring at you and champagne is brought to your table. But you know what else hurts? Returning to that low-wage 9-to-5 job for a full month so you can feel like that for a few hours. If you throw money around at the club, or if your bail is higher than that of the person next to you, you are not the boss. You are the merchandise. In order to give the impression that you are living the life of people who are just as broke as you are, Someone who is the real boss is making money off of your efforts. Number 11. Gambling When people say that you have to spend money to make money, that's how it goes. They did not discuss lottery tickets. Scratch tickets at slot machines and casinos cost significantly more to the poor than to everyone else. They all hope to win a lot of money. Australia's average gambler loses just under $1,000 annually and 70% of UK residents regularly play the lottery. According to a 2012 Yale University study, the lowest fifth of people's socioeconomic status had the highest rate of lottery gambling. Number 12. Vaping and Smoking Gamblers are also more likely to develop other addictions like vaping and smoking. Although many packs cost more, the average pack of cigarette costs $6.28 making a pack-a-day habit cost $188 per month or $2,292 per year. $22,920 is the cost of 10 years of smoking, and the cost of smoking only goes up depending on where you live. If both partners smoke and vape, one of you will have to work a full month just to pay for smoking. Today, approximately 1.1 billion people worldwide smoke. One person in seven smoke. Traditional cigarettes are being replaced by vaping, and as a result, businesses are reaping greater profits than ever before. Number 13. Your bank is costing you money because you have to pay a commission when you put money in and when you ask them to return it. Putting money in the bank in a volatile economy is costing you money in both the short term and the long term, and depending on where you live, interest rates are a joke. It is no longer relevant to teach people how to save money because society is changing so quickly. As an alternative to banking, we recommended Money Master the game as the fundamentals for putting your money to use. Number 14. Your Taxes The poor pay more taxes because they don't create as much value in the market as the rich do. It's the truth no matter what. In the United States, the rich are fairly rewarded because they use their wealth to increase value. We are always shocked when we see how pleased people are when their tax returns are returned and they receive money. First, this is your money. The state is just giving it back to you. Second, you've just been robbed because the money doesn't have any interest. You could have more money in your hands than you do now if you were smart with your money. You just made the decision to give it away free to the state. Number 15 is donations. This is going to be a contentious issue because the truth is that when you give money to a charity, the money doesn't help the needy people. Rather, it is used to pay the charity staff member salaries. Charities are one of the world's biggest con artists. They target the poor because, for some reason, they feel compelled to help other poor people without realizing it. Just to put things into perspective, 
the general manager of the charity, who basically serves as the organization's boss, typically receives a salary of approximately $250,000. Therefore, purchase some items for the local shelter or figure out how to provide these individuals with opportunities rather than calling. Instead of giving a man a fish, you know, teach him how to get one. That would be all. Thank you from Cash Street, where cash is always king.